What is up, YouTubers? T.O. here, Simplistic Fishing, back at you tonight for our final Google Earth Lake Breakdown for Lake Wright Patman. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying this one, been able to find some good stuff. And hey, while I've been breaking this thing down, we actually just got a new partnership with, you can see here on my hat, Habit Outdoors, www.habitoutdoors.com. If you go out there, check out all their fishing and hunting gear. They got tons of good stuff. They also just partnered with Major League Fishing, so they got some good fishing hoodies and stuff like that, all at a really good price. And you can get a 20% discount because we just partnered with them. Use code SIMPLISTICFISHING20 at checkout. It'll help you out. Let's go ahead and jump into Wright Patton. Here we go. Here we are back again on Wright Patman Lake. Let's just go over real quick and talk about how we have this sorted in case you missed the first couple breakdowns. I've got it sorted by a couple different categories. First off, we've got offshore hotspots, which we're going to talk about after this video. That will be our next video where we go out and we use Navionics to try to find high percentage offshore areas. So I've got all of those marked here. You'll get those if you go out to the website, simplisticfishing.com. You can order all these waypoints we talk about, put them on a card for you import them into the graph. It'll make fishing way easier for you, especially out on your lakes. But anyways, we've got the waypoints for the offshore side. We also have channels and tracks for uh, different uh, channels that are out there and then ditches as well. So you can see all these little green lines. And basically what this allows you to do is position your boat correctly on those creek channels and those ditches. We also have a lot of different cover on this lake uh, from row beds to timber to just strange things that I couldn't tell what they were, but they were something different you need to check. Uh, to ditches and stuff like that. We also have laydowns and brush. There's a lot of that on this lake uh, for sure. And then there's a little bit of rock as well. So there are a couple different areas on this lake where you can find some rock or where we're able to identify some harder spots based on what we found on Google Earth. Then we've got all the different boat ramps that are out on this lake. That's a great pattern to run as well. And last but not least, there's a couple Texas Park and Wildlife fish attractors that they put out on their website that we've brought in and put into these waypoints too. So let's go ahead and get started. What we've uh, what we've done previously on the previous videos is we started at the dam, we worked our way up, and then we worked our way down, back down the west side and down the southwest side, and we ended right here off of this point. So that's where we're going to start at today, right there at that point. I'm going to go ahead and move this over to the left. Now, as far as the history goes on this one, unfortunately, the lowest that this lake goes that I can see from Google Earth is not actually in the past, it's right now um, as, we, uh, as we speak on the latest image. So I've just left it at three of 2022 for now. Um, I think pretty much that's gonna tell us everything we need. We may switch back and forth between a couple dates just to see if we can see anything different, but overall I think 2022 is gonna give us what we need. So as we move off of that point, we come down here, there are a couple different areas uh, to take a look at. One would be right in here, there's a nice little lay down right there. There's also some potential that there could be some rock up in here. So you notice how I marked rock there. Let me see if I can move this back and see if maybe we can see it a little bit better. Now this could be an area, I don't think it's going to, I think 2022 is gonna be our best. This could be an area where I've marked it rock and there's not rock there, but it does look like there's rock. There's definitely a ledge there of some sort. And if you look down on the, the ground, it looks like there could be some scattered rock in here. I'm not sure if there is or not, so be careful on that one. <clears throat> not too confident on that one. We also have some laydowns that are right here. We have additional laydowns that are out here off this point that you could check out. This one's pretty cool right here if you look at this one. That definitely would be a really good one to check out if the water was up for sure, uh, because that just looks like someone put that brush out there. Now, as we move over here and we get across that little point, we started there, so we're coming down around this point. Just more laydowns to check out, a couple more of them there more there. This is going to be more if you're if you're beating the bank line, you know, just stop when you get to these lay down areas and just hit them, you know, multiple times and then move on and keep pounding down the bank or whatever it is that you're doing. That's kind of what the point is of marking all these lay downs. So you've got a whole bunch of them. You can see them all here. Three, four, five. There's like seven of them right here in that row. So if lay downs, if you found that they were attracted to those lay downs and that was the pattern, this is definitely the area of the lake that you want to be in because you've got a lot of lay downs in this area. 
So let's kind of go back. We're going to get back into this big uh, cove back in here. We get back in here. This looks like Ballard Creek. Uh, you got a pretty decent little creek channel back there. Nothing too crazy. I like this area right here, right off of this point. If you notice, it looks like it could have a little bit of a hard spot, possibly. But I do just like how that point sets up anyways. It's a nice little secondary point that's leading back into a creek channel. So that's going to be a good point to fish or at least to try to find some fish. You've also got some additional laydowns off here off the main point in the in the cove. And then as we go back, not a lot going back in here, a couple ditches and things, but I don't see anything too too crazy to really mark for you guys. But up here, we've got a couple more laydowns too that you could check out. And again, that little point right there going into an area where you've got some creeks coming in, that's going to be a pretty good little point to fish as well. That one, probably this one right here that sticks out, and then this one, these two right here are going to be good points as well to, uh, to go look at. So as we're talking about those two points, we're up here by the Jackson Creek Landing. There is some rock that's right out here. You can kind of see it. It's right in that area. So again, the water's got to come up some in order to take advantage of that, but that rock is there. You've also got a pretty good ramp here. Um, it doesn't go out too far. I was surprised it didn't go out a lot further. Maybe the lake is just really, really down right now, but um, some rock around it, stuff like that. So it could be a productive ramp for sure. Moving on up, another good little point right here that looks like it has some rock off the edge of it. Uh, I mean, pretty sure I'm about 100% positive that's rock. So this point right here is a money point for sure. Uh, just the way that it sets up, it's going into a, to a cove. It's got a couple creek channels that are feeding into it. It's a good stopping point for the bass to stop at. Uh, just a great place to look for some fish. All right, so let's keep moving down. Again, that's probably the best spot I think that we've talked about since we started this video. So definitely go look at that. That looks really good. When we come over here off this point, we've still got some additional hard spots. Uh, so right in here, another good hard spot. See how far that goes out. It could go a lot farther out. And that can be a really good point to fish. Again, another one of those secondary points that's out there. And then as you can see, as we move further back in here, we've got another little creek channel that's feeding in here. So a little creek or something. We got a little ditch or something going on over in here. You can see, and then just a ton of different laydowns to check out. So I can zoom in there for you if you want me to. Let's go over them real fast, but you'll just kind of see them all laying down there. A lot of them aren't in the water right now, and then some of them are in the water. So just go check them out and just kind of flip around them and see what you can find. As we get up here a little bit further off of this point, unfortunately, didn't see a lot of rock around this point. There is something there. Notice how it's just a little bit different color. So maybe check out that point. I mean, it should be good. It's a point. Um, but I just don't see a lot of stuff around it like we did the other points. There are some laydowns there. And then as you get over here off this more of a more of a main lake point, this one looks a little bit better. Uh, one, because you've got some just junk all around the points, a bunch of laydowns and stuff like that. And it even appears that you may even have some timber out in this area as well. So a lot of wash up or something like that going on in here. So that could be definitely a potentially very good point to be able to, to fish. But if I only had one place to fish in that whole area we just talked about, it's definitely going to be right here, right where those rocks are, right off that point. I just love how that sets up. That uh, That's definitely something that would attract me immediately to go back there and go fishing. All right, so I'm going to keep moving on down. We're going to go over here by Armstrong Landing. Uh, we didn't, I don't know if we talked about this or not, but there's some potential rock right here, maybe. This is another of those areas where I'm not sure. It kind of looks like there may be some rock there, but again, it might just be my eyes fooling me because it, it looks like a hard spot, but it's not. Right here, for sure, we've got a little bit of rock here. You can see there's a little pile here going on. Maybe not rock, could be uh, cinder blocks or something like that, but definitely some kind of debris down here. Uh, hard spots in the water and that could be really good especially if, if the water comes up that's gonna be a really good spot and if that's a little bit further out in the water maybe it goes further out here that could be a really good spot lots of laydowns again i told you this lake has a lot of laydowns so i've just marked all the laydowns that go out into the water if the water were up at full pool and then when you get off of this bank line right here you start seeing a little more rock notice the rock right here the hard spot right here the rock out here so again, main lake point, right? Main lake point and a hard spot. That's going to be a good good point to check out. So definitely right in here is going to be a good good area to go look at. Now as we move back in here, we got a couple creek channels that feed back up in here on this Armstrong Creek. And there were a little couple creeks that we uh, marked for you. There's some debris back in here. Just wanted you to check this point because this is another one of those areas where it looks like a hard spot. 
but it might not be a hard spot. But check it, because if it is a hard spot, that's a great place for them to set up, just like we've been talking about all day. Also over here, if you look right here, it looks like you may have some rock scattered right in here in this area. You can kind of see the black spots. You've also got it right in here as well. So check those out. Those can be really, really good. It almost looks like maybe the, the main creek channel kind of swings this way, and that's what's created that indention. I'm not sure, but definitely a good area to go look at and see if you can find some fish there. All right, so we're going to back out for just a second, show you where we started. We started there at the lay down. Now we're over here by these, this area over here by Atlanta State Park. We're getting pretty close to it. We're over here by Ham Creek. So to get back in here, I didn't see too much down there. We got some lay downs there, some potential rock though, again, off of this point. So check that one out. You can kind of see it's got some hard stuff around it so that there could be some rock right there. There's a really good lay down right there. Another lay down there and another hard point right in here. So go check those out. Those hard points can be really good. Definitely go check them out for sure. Now, as we get over here off of this point, not, a, not anything hard that I saw around the point, but a ton of different laydowns and stuff to fish around. So it could be really good. If the wind was blowing the right direction, that could be a really good spot for them to collect up in. Then as we move over here, you can see too much. There's a little stump out here and a little bitty point. Maybe, maybe find some stuff in there. I would probably wouldn't spend too much time. Uh, focusing in on that. And then now here's we're back in here over by Atlanta State Park. See a little creek channel in there. We've got a nice little boat ramp that's right here. It's got some pretty good rip wrap around it that you could fish. Also, as you move further up the uh, around the state park, when you get over here off the top of this island, they've got some rip wrap as well that they put out. So you've got a nice hard area all throughout this whole entire point. And then if you look over here, this looks like what used to be an old boat ramp. Either an old boat ramp or it could be an old roadbed. Either way, that's going to be a good spot to fish. And you want to go out here and scan out here and see if that's a roadbed. If it is, you know, get out here, look for the hard spots, look for the bridges, look for stuff like that. But it's giving it away, giving itself away right there, telling you it's there. So you definitely want to go find it, fish around it, figure out where it ends and find all the debris that's around it. That's going to be a good spot. Also moving over here, you've got a couple more laydowns. Not really too much on the laydowns unless we're in the spring, but definitely laydowns can can play a factor for sure. As you move over here, we've also got uh, just another area I wanted you to check. It looks like there could be some rock here, so maybe like a little hard spot right in here for some reason. Even the, the if you just look at the lay of the land, it looks like a hard spot right there. So maybe check that spot out. you got in a couple more spots right here where it looks like there could be some rock in this area. So that can make it a, a potentially good area. And then you get out here off this point, pretty shallow, but lots of different laydowns. And those are all going to be submerged uh, if the lake were up for sure. And so those are going to be really good areas to look. And again, it's off of a point. I think we've talked a lot about this on this lake's got a lot of points. Uh, so a lot of good areas to try to go find some fish. Over in here, another, another hard spot. Just wanted you to check it. Plus there's some junk down there. So if I zoom in, you'll see it. I don't know if it's rock. Kind of looks like rock. Could be debris. But check it. That's going to be a good spot. Um, and then over here, we've got a boat ramp as well. This boat ramp doesn't look too good. Looks like it's seen its better days, but maybe fish that one. It doesn't have a lot of rock or anything around it, so it's kind of disappointing that there's nothing there. We've got this little island around here. You can probably check that out too. And then moving down here, we're now, I'll show you guys where I'm at, I'm right over in this area now, just to the right or to the east of Atlanta State Park. <clears throat> More laydowns. Tons of laydowns back in here, just several ones. And then you've got some stumps that are back here. So if I zoom in, you'll see we've got a couple different stumps right in this area. I don't know if I can move this out of the way or not. Well, you can't see them in this image, but there's a couple stumps that are right in that area. So maybe go check that out. I wouldn't spend too much time back in here. This looks pretty rough, uh, but you know, you never know. They could be hanging around the stumps. And you got some pretty good creek channels back here. And what appears to be an old pond or something like that. And I don't know if I'd go back in here and fish in the pond, but I would definitely fish around the openings in that area. So like right in here, I would definitely set the boat up out here and fish around where it just opens up right there. All right, so let's keep moving up. There's a nice little pile right there that I didn't see before. Don't know what that is, but maybe that's why I didn't mark it. Also got more laydowns in here. You can see them as we move up here. Just laydowns, central, lots of laydowns. <clears throat> Lots of laydowns to check out. Again, pretty shallow area up in here where it says Mill Creek. We've also got Greens Farm Landing that's over here. Not much of a boat ramp going on on that one. Just kind of looks strange. And then just some brush and stuff to flip around. 
Uh, again, you know, more of a spring, springtime, fall time thing. Some more brush in here, more brush over in there, and then some more brush back in here too. So just brush and lots of laydowns, um, definitely in that little area that we just looked at. So as we move further up and start making our way towards the dam, we get in here, we're going to see the same type thing again, just some laydowns, some brush piles, little brush piles over here some more lay downs and some more brush. I mean, if the fish are shallow in this lake, I've never gotten to fish this lake and the water doesn't look that clear. It kind of looks like color water that we have. The fish may stay shallow in this lake and if they do, all this brush and all these lay downs definitely are gonna come into play. All right, so as we move over here, we've got a little ramp that's way out here. Now I can't tell if this is a ramp again or an old road. So you definitely wanna go check it out, but it goes far enough into the water where it's gonna come into play and it's got some good rock on the sides of it as well. Let's actually pull it back. We haven't done that yet. We haven't actually pulled the water up to see what this lake looks like when it's got a lot more water in it, when it's not so low. So this is uh, this is 2019, let's just stay there. So this is 2019, that ramp you saw, it's probably gonna end somewhere out in here. So it's gonna have some pretty good depth to it. All those laydowns that we were looking at and that brush, it's all submerged. So all that stuff we were looking at is gonna be all submerged stuff. So that's why I think it's gonna come into play for sure. So let's, uh, let's move this back up to 2022 and let's take a look at that other boat ramp, see what it looks like. So it comes out, actually, yeah, it is a boat ramp. I was going to say it looked like a road, like a dirt road, because it looks like a dirt road going to it. But it is a pretty good boat ramp, and it goes out pretty far, and it has a lot of good riprap around it. So definitely going to be a good good boat ramp to go check out. All right, moving down here, not a lot. I didn't even find any laydowns or anything on these bank lines. Just kind of blah, a couple of different creek channels down there. Did finally get over here and start finding a few laydowns. But again, I don't think there's enough here, at least in, in this area from what I'm seeing, that would attract me to want to come over here. Now, watch, that's probably like, these are probably like the honey holes of the lake. But in my opinion, uh, just based on what I'm seeing on Google Earth, I, I'm not that attracted to this little area right in here for sure. All right, so then moving down in here, we got another creek channel. Kind of like it back in here. It's pretty neat. Definitely secluded. Uh, I could see them getting back in here and spawning and stuff. But Sherman's Landing, got some more laydowns in there. And finally... We get finally get some rock here and this obviously man-made riprap but that it can be really fun to fish you know shallow diving crankbaits square bills stuff like that that's all good stuff another good ramp with a lot of rock around it there's rock all around this park so if you're on that shallow riprap bite and that water's up this is going to be a real good area to be fishing around and you've got a lot of rock in this area not just the riprap there but you've got rock piles out here further out over here off of the uh, the point, it gets real rocky. So this looks awesome. This point looks really, really juicy. We're talking two places, that, that point we were talking about earlier where that little rock pile was, that thing looked awesome. And this point right here just looks looks really good. This area right here looks really good. We just went from an area where that I said didn't look good to an area that I think looks really good. This point looks good. Over here off of this point, all this riprap. You know there's going to be some rock here. There's something there that's caught my attention from an offshore standpoint. So that point right there just looks really good. Also up in here, all this riprap as well. You know, focusing on those rocky areas, that's always going to help you out a lot. Got a little creek channel back in here. Maybe a little pitch point right here. I didn't see this the first time, but if you look right here, it might have a pretty nice little pinch point right in here that you could check out and see if they're staging up on these little edges. If they're just sitting there, that's the, definitely a potential that they might be doing that. Then as we get back in here, uh, just some more rock again. Uh, we're getting big laydowns too. There's a big old laydown there that I missed. I should have marked that one, but we got rock piles here. I think I got so excited to see the rock again, but I didn't mark all the laydowns. So there's some good laydowns over here, really good rock, real good rock in here off this point. Again, I marked this for offshore too, so there's got to be something there that triggered me to say, hey, check, take a look at this offshore point. So this area, uh, if you were to launch at the uh, the Piney Point Park boat ramp, I would say pretty much anywhere from here, that point, all the way down to this ramp, actually even further, maybe even go down to right here. So you could fish just this area, and I think that you're going to be in a very high percentage area to try to find some fish on this lake. All right, so let's keep going. We talked about the Piney Point boat ramp, Piney Point, Piney Park, whatever it is. Piney Point Park. That's hard to say. Um, Peter Piper picked a pickle, however you say it. Here we go. So we got some riprap around here around the 
the ramp and stuff like that. Again, real good area. Like I said, I really like how this sets up. I notice the water's a little bit deeper, a little bit clearer as well. We've got a lot of offshore stuff that I need to talk to you guys about, and we are actually down to our very last waypoint for right patent from a Googler side, and that's this little ditch that comes out here. So again, when you're setting up on those ditches, you know, set up where it opens up and see if you can find them sitting there waiting to ambush stuff coming in and out of those ditches. Guys, I hope that has helped you out a ton. That actually covers us for all of our Google Earth waypoints for Lake Riot Patman. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back on the next video, and we're going to use Navionics uh, mobile app to identify different types of different areas where we can find structure offshore to go fish. So make sure to come back and check it out. Hit that subscribe button. Go check out our lake breakdowns, and uh, make sure you hit that like button. Until next time, guys, I hope you catch your PB. Take it easy.